Hello everyone, this is Jay Weldy, and uh, we are doing episode 2 of Microsoft Flight Sim. What you're seeing here on the uh, VR headset is um, a dual view. I am still trying to uh, fix and figure out how to record in NVIDIA uh, the just the one screen instead of two screens when I'm wearing my goggles. But the good news is I've done map enhancements, um, 6.3.0 I think it is, uh, as a software mod for Flight Sim. And basically what that does is it allows you to use other map sources or other than Bing. So um, it has Bing 2, it has um, Google servers, it has ArcViz data, you know, all sorts of stuff. And um, it just gives you a better uh, view of what's going on uh, in the world. The, the Just the basic... Um, reality factor is different and we're going to go ahead and pick a airbus h-135 here and we're going to flip out of jacksonville naval air station we have some, some background noise in the back uh since it's thanksgiving and there'll be people coming and going here very shortly we have the turkey in and um happy thanksgiving one juliet whiskey Great. ready at runway two eight departing okay. straight out so let's um, go ahead and, yeah, this is Jacksonville Naval Air, and uh, actually I grew up in Jacksonville, Florida, Jacksonville Beach, Florida, uh, through my teens. So uh, I was, I think, uh, 17 when I moved from Jacksonville to um, Vienna, Virginia and then eventually moved back down the Fort Lauderdale, Miami area uh, years later, a few years later. Ended up in Delaware. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stow my doors. There we go. So I can now look out. And uh, we're going to just cross over. And get our heading uh, east, southeast. And I apologize for any sniffling and snuffiness uh, that you may hear on the microphones here on the headset uh, because I was sick all night last night. Sinus problems throwing up. Uh, too much information, I'm sure, but I will do my best. Tower November 1 Juliet Whiskey Frequency Change. Jacksonville approach November 1 Juliet Whiskey is type 2 miles southeast of Navy, Jacksonville, 2,500 feet. Request flight following. November 1 Juliet Whiskey, Jacksonville approach. Squawk 0424. Squawk 04241 Juliet Whiskey. 1 Juliet Whiskey radar contact 2 miles northeast of 0 Foxtrot Lima, 83,200 feet. Altimeter 2 Niner Decimal Niner 2. Roger 1 Juliet Whiskey. So some of the things I've been doing over the past couple weeks is uh, uh, tweaking the graphics, um, VR graphics and uh, the RTX graphics. And uh, I think the reality and feel of the uh, sim is, is probably a lot better than I've ever had it. 
especially with the ability to change maps. And uh, we're going to just uh, kind of like willy-nilly here uh, flip around Jacksonville. Jacksonville would be actually behind us here uh, to the west. And this is what is considered uh, Jacksonville Beach, uh, Ponte Vedra, St. Augustine area. Um, and then the beach is coming up this way. And I actually, if you look along the coastline directly in front of us, it's where I grew up. Pretty nice place, to be honest. ahead and drop altitude and we will kind of like cruise around here lower level so you can kind of see the details and I have a RTX 2080 I believe it is with 8 gig or 16 gig of RAM memory in this uh, it is a Corsair 1 PC And I'm running Google Maps Server 2, which is kind of cool. Cessna and Zero Tango traffic is 12 o'clock, 4 miles, at 700 feet Cessna Skyhawk. Report them in sight. And the nice thing with the map enhancement Jackson program... Approach Cessna November 3715 Delta is type Cessna Skyhawk 2 miles west of Kilo Hotel Echo Golf, 600 feet. Request flight following. Cessna November 3715 Delta Jacksonville approach. Squad 3555. So the nice thing with the map enhancement program Cessna 2 Zero Tango have the Cessna Skyhawk in sight. <laughs> is uh, you can uh, use it free. And then if you wanted to use Pro Maps, you could certainly use Pro Maps with it. Uh, by buying a license. And I may actually end up doing that here shortly. Uh, the other thing I've done is I've uh, flipped over to a Thrustmaster HOTUS, um, which is a Warthog version, and uh, this is a this is a great. Um, throttle assembly and stick assembly for flying flight sim. Uh, as you could probably tell if you're watching any of my flight sim videos, is I really enjoy um, flying helicopters. And uh, this really has kind of a modern helicopter feel with the throttles and the uh, and the HOTA stick, you know. One Juliet Whiskey contact, Jacksonville approach on one two four decimal liner. Good day. One two four decimal niner for one Juliet whiskey. Jacksonville approach November one Juliet whiskey two thousand three hundred feet. And what you're seeing as I move my head around is um, the refresh rate of the map data coming in. Very, very nice. One Juliet Whiskey contact, Jacksonville approach on one two zero decimal seven five. Good day. One two zero decimal seven five one Juliet Whiskey. Jacksonville approach November one Juliet Whiskey three thousand three hundred feet.
And, you know, the other cool thing about this program is uh, I'm flying over the Jacksonville area of North Florida, and uh, I know that there's been a lot of growth since I uh, left the area. But there's definite trait or landmarks that I see here that uh, definitely were there when I was there. And so, you know, the actual mapping is outstanding. Yep, here's Ponte Vedra off to our left here, which is north. So I've just been uh, steadily and slowly tweaking um, as much of the uh, graphics as I can and uh, you know setting up higher priority for the actual game memory to use uh, that sort of thing so trying to get rid of as many you know find that sweet spot between not stuttering all the time and being able to um, Decimal have a real Juliet high quality whiskey. immersive Jackson type Bill of experience with the uh, Juliet, VR. Now, feet. I'm using, um, as you can see, the quality of uh, graphics is very good. I'm using an HP Reverb G2, um, which is not the best on the market anymore, but. Um, Definitely gives a gives a nice immersive feel. Um, doesn't get too hot across the brow, and uh, actual visual quality is very good. Okay, we're gonna drop down and just fly the coastline here real quick, and then we will call it a nice Thanksgiving day. Again, I hope everybody has a great holiday, uh, Black Friday fun, uh, stay safe, get out of the house, and enjoy yourselves. Take care. Everybody, thanks for watching.